Hey love, Karen Rockhind here, your life purpose coach. I want you to think about the word empowered. What does empowered mean to you? When you think about an empowered person, how does he or she show up? How does he or she carry himself? How does she take care of her body? How does an empowered woman speak? How does an empowered woman follow her dreams? Like what is the empowered woman doing? Who is she being? Consider what it means to be an empowered woman or for you an empowered man and ask yourself, how am I doing against what I believe empowered means? I mean, many people I ask this question to, they'll say an empowered woman stands in her power and speaks her truth courageously. An empowered woman is confident and she goes for what she wants. An empowered woman lives according to her heart and soul no matter what other people say or think. And yet, how many of us are living that way? How many of us are really living that way? Most of the time I do, and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I get afraid to follow a dream or I get afraid to speak my voice. Right? This is why we're all in it together. The key is that every single day you ask yourself, what is one action I could do today that would help me become the empowered person that I want to be? I've just spent the last four months with an amazing group of women who came into this program called Empowered, wanting different lives, wanting to be happy, wanting to feel free, wanting to feel alive. Maybe even a little bit skeptical. Is this program going to work for them? In fact, one of them said about a month in, I don't know if this is working for me. But as she went through the process of really getting clear on who she was in her heart and her soul and her essence, what she wanted, she was a child. She grew up in a very religious household and was never allowed to dream, was never even allowed to think about what her future was because it was written for her. And so she peeled back those layers and she got to know herself now. She began following ideas that sparked her interest. She began envisioning a different life and she faced her fear. She faced her old challenges. She faced her trauma once and for all and said, I'm not going to live by those pains anymore. I'm not going to let that hold me back. And to see her today is like an unbelievable miracle. She's like, I love life. Oh my God, I didn't even know it was possible. I, and here she's now like planning solo travel around the world and ready for her next career move. We all have this inside of us, right? She's not special, I'm not special. Like we're all special, but you know what I mean? We're not different. We all have the capacity within our human spirits to thrive. And why else would we have been born if we weren't meant to thrive? Like you weren't born so that you could just look at other people who are following amazing dreams and wishing you were one of them. You weren't born to feel like the mundane is making you miserable. Like you, you weren't born. There's like a one in one billion chance or a trillion chance that you were born in your exact form with your exact strengths and talents. Like you were born because those are meant to shine and they're meant to come out and they're meant to be empowered. And so as you go through your day today, I want you to look at your list of what you said it means to be empowered. I want you to ask yourself, what is one thing I can do today that my future empowered self will thank me for? Bye for now. Oh, and if you want more, make sure you're getting my free newsletter, my free tips, and my free living on purpose guide at www.purposegirl.com. Purposegirl.com. Bye for now.